Our next speaker tonight is Jessica Bojoquez from the Faculty of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Sciences. Her talk is entitled Guardians of the Pipeline. Imagine you wake up in the morning and you open the tap to take a shower, but nothing happens. Or you wake up thirsty, but no water is available for drinking. Would you call Wonder Woman? Or maybe you can get in touch with Iron Man. They have saved the world before. This should be easy to solve. I wish I could tell you this is just the plot of a movie, but this is a real and complex problem. Santa Marta, a city in Colombia, loses 63% of the drinking water due to leaks. And South Australia loses 15% of the water. Don't you think we need some superheroes to work on solving this problem? That's what my research is focused on, finding leaks in water pipelines. But how to inspect underground pipelines? Do not fear. Water Hammer comes to the rescue. Let me explain to you his superpower. If you're standing at the entrance of a tunnel and you decide to shout, hello, you will hear your voice again, right? We all have done that. What happens is as the sound waves of your voice reach the walls of the tunnel, these waves come back to you, producing what we know as echo. Now, if we change sound waves for pressure waves, boom, water hammer is here. This superhero has worked before for finding leaks in pipes. A small pressure wave is created, the shout, and when that wave hits a leak, part of it reflects, and the, the response is captured, the echo. Finally, by processing that signal, the leak can be located. But watch out, because Waterhammer has his own kryptonite, time. Because this processing takes a long time and effort. That's why I'm calling on a second superhero, artificial intelligence. I'm working on a way to accelerate the processing of this pressure signal to find the leaks quicker and more accurately. Given that I understand what the pressure wave looks like when there is a leak in the pipeline, I'm creating a pattern recognition system. By mimicking part of the structure and the way the human brain works, my artificial intelligence superhero learns from the information from thousands of possible different leaks, and she's able to identify leaks that have never been shown to her before. It's like using Siri, but instead of recognizing your voice, she recognizes the existence and the location of leaks in water pipelines. What I have found so far is that it's not only possible to use these two superheroes, but that the results are very accurate and fast. On average, I have found a leak within three meters of its real location in a 1,000 meter pipeline in just a few seconds. So now I'm confident that artificial intelligence and water hammer are just as strong as Wonder Woman and just as smart as Iron Man. But hey, these ones are real. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, insofar as uh, predictive maintenance goes on important pieces of infrastructure like uh, water supply, can this technology be applied in that or does it actually have to be a, 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 a physical leak occurring? That's point question one. The other is um, also around just economic analysis and return back to um, state governments or taxpayers through the effectiveness of this technology? Has the um, economic analysis been done? Sure. Uh, well, for the first question, yes, it can be directed to anything. I'm just talking here about leaks, but we have uh, tried this with different other anomalies or events, for example, new leaks, bursts that occur. So it's just a matter of developing the in uh, input data and then trying um, the artificial intelligence superhero to make sure that it can find that. Um, on the economical basis, uh, using water hammer has proven to be uh, really cost effective because it's non-invasive, which is one of the main things about this technology. You don't have to dig a hole in the ground to see if something is, is, is going wrong. So you just need like an um, entrance point and then you can just do your analysis. So water hammer has proven to be cost effective. What I'm doing is linking that with artificial intelligence to make everything quicker and more accurate. <laughs> Thanks. 